guys, Ash here from CurseForver.com. With the latest 4.1.2 update for the Galaxy S3, we got the multi-window feature ported over from the Galaxy Note 2 here. And uh, while I really enjoy this feature, there's one thing that you know kind of bothers me, the fact uh, that we don't have a lot of apps to choose from. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to, how to actually make all apps available for this feature. While a lot of them will work uh, with the feature, there would, there would be some that still might not work, but you will get the option to choose all apps uh, after you follow the steps shown in this tutorial. So guys, the prerequisite here is that your phone needs to be rooted and you need to have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you guys haven't done that already, go ahead click uh, the link in the description and that will take you to my tutorial on how to root your Galaxy S3 i9-300 and get Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. Uh, the second requirement is that you need to have a Galaxy S3 i9-300 that is running one of these firmwares. Uh, let me show you how to check uh, what firmware you have and what your model number is. So go into settings, about device, and over here it it needs to say GTI 9300 and uh, the build number needs to be one of these alright so again uh, I'll show you what build numbers you need to have uh, guys again from the uh, download section in the description there will be a link to a thread on XDA developers click that and it will take you to this thread alright so you need to have one of these ROMs ending uh, UBEMA1 ZSEMA1 XXELLC XXELLA XXELL4 XXELL5 alright so uh, if you have a ROM that's not included in this list anyway click that link and see whether it's been updated right now because as you can see today is the 24th of January and uh, this thread has been updated till the 23rd so if there's a new ROM it probably will will get updated so uh, the files you need to download will be the first file from uh, here that is the MW Odex Deodex Christian C so uh, over here I've got the XE LLA, LLA so this is the file that I've downloaded the first one and then scroll down again and you get MW control dot APK alright and if you want a transparent multi view bar you can download multi view transparent .zip as well alright and in, in the future if you want to remove this mod just get the restore uh, file from below alright so currently just to get all apps working with multi window you need to download the first file alright from whichever build number you have download the first file and download multi window controller apk the multi view transparent is optional and if you want to restore the second file there alright so let's go ahead and get this done now so the first thing you need to do guys is go into the play store and search for busybox alright and that will be one by Stephen Sterickson so install it just wait for the installation to complete alright guys now once it's uh, installed just open it up and grant just hit X here Just wait for smart, smart install to finish loading. Alright guys, just go ahead and hit the install uh, key here and hit smart install. Alright, once you get the uh, successful message, So, quit it. Enough, go ahead. Uh, the files that you downloaded from this thread that I told you, uh, just transfer to the internal or external uh, memories of your phone. And uh, once you've done that, 
go ahead hold up volume power and home at the same time might take a screenshot but just keep holding it the phone will reboot and once you see Samsung Galaxy S3 displayed on uh, screen you can let the keys go so this will take you into clockwork mod recovery so just pulling it in a little closer alright now Koro installs it from SD card choose it from SD card if you have the files on an external SD or choose it from internal SD so I have it on a folder called multi now we're getting to that and uh, this is the file that we need to have the first one so the uh, firmware number the build number underscore mw underscore odex uh, drx underscore christian c dot zip so again hitting the power button and now selecting install guys if you get an error over here it means you might have the wrong build number file or uh, you might have a bad download so just check both and uh, try downloading again and you should be good to go alright so enough going back so if it's just the uh, multi window app that you want you're done over here but uh, if you want the uh, transparency as well like I do then go back and uh, flash the other file that you downloaded the multi view hyphen transparent dot zip so I'm gonna do that now yes install multi view alright don't worry if it says SGN2 here it's not a problem just don't worry about that so going back hit reboot system now just wait for your phone to uh, reboot and guys while your phone Galaxy S3 is rebooting if you're on full screen mode go ahead get back to the windowed mode uh, and uh, hit the like button below hit the subscribe button on top thanks a lot guys just messing it yeah just uh, all right we're back up getting back uh, all right so right now what we need to do is go into my files and navigate to wherever it is that you've saved uh, the files that you've downloaded and you've got this mwcontrol.apk and if you get install block just tap settings and uh, enable unknown sources all right go back and mwcontrol.apk okay hit install now open it and grant so we use our machines so now we can go ahead and add applications so let me add flipboard paper artist okay, wait. let me just check what apps are available by default so as you can see the uh, transparency is activated here alright Dropbox isn't available by default so isn't uh, paper artist alright let me add Dropbox as well sorry Dropbox alright going back kill it going back enough tapping holding the back button and I'll hit edit and there you see Dropbox flipboard and uh, paper added stuff not been added so I'm just gonna drag Dropbox over here flipboard paper artist and done So there you see guys, uh, you can get all the apps working uh, with the multi-window feature on the Galaxy S3 with this method and uh, if for some reason you just want to go back uh, to default, you want to remove this mod, then again the second file that I showed you from the thread, uh, depending on your firmware, the second file 
the resto file just go ahead download that and uh, you just need to flash it the same way we did uh, hold up volume power and home and go and do clockwork mod recovery install zip from SD card and just select that file instead and that that will be it so that's pretty, pretty much it guys thanks a lot for watching uh, if you run into any issues if you have any queries if you need any support uh, you can hit us up at gusforward.com slash forums for the full written instructions again head on over to gusforward.com the link is annotated onto this video it's also there in the description and before you go make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons guys and uh, if you wanna stay uh, updated on my latest updates and my latest videos or if you have any requests for me you can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus all my contact details are in the description so uh, once again that's pretty much it guys thanks a lot for watching uh, and I'll see you guys soon with more videos till then it's Ash from CurseFarber.com signing off you guys have a great day bye bye now